Thank you for calling Albertson Sunday. You can five miles. How can I help you? I'm sorry. What was your name? This is Albertson. How can I help you? No, oh, your name. Oh, Renee. Oh, Renee. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, Deli's waiting for my call or the butcher block, one of the two. The butcher block? Uh, well, I guess, yeah. Butcher block, please. Okay, one moment. All right. Albertson's meat department, this is Drew. Hey, Drew. What's up? It's, it's Ronnie from the lobby department. It's who? Ronnie from the lobby department. The laundry department? Lobby department. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Dude, uh, Renee at the uh, at the desk, at the courtesy booth. Okay. Did you hear what she was saying about you, Drew? Uh, no. She said that all you, like, MFers, she's up here saying right now, all you MFers, all the MFers in the butcher block are always, um, like, messing up, she said, the orders... That they were put, you guys were putting in the wrong PLUs when you were printing out the labels for the meat that you were cutting. She said that they had a whole bunch of complaints today. She was like, "Drew, that I, I saw Drew drinking." She was saying, "I'm like," and I told her, "Drew doesn't drink." I know for a fact. And he's like, "Oh no, he goes back there all the time. You'll see. He goes in there. He goes to the cabinet, and he sneaks a swig out of something, and he tries to hide it, and he puts it back, and he goes back to work." Huh. Yeah. Well, that's weird. I, are you guys cool at all? Like Me and Renee? Yeah. I Yeah, I mean, I see Renee like once a week when I pick up my check. you have any idea why she'd be saying something like that? Uh, no, not really. I mean, no idea. It's real messed up. She was up there talking about the lazy people in the lobby department and drugs in the drug department. Um, yeah, total. She was saying racist jokes. Huh, well, yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't want to really get involved with it or anything like that, yeah, but... I know. That's sick. Well, on the other side, I'll let you know. Hey, can you, um, can you page Deli to pick up the call real quick and let me talk to them? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll park you real fast. Okay. One second. All right, thanks. Have you got to say Hey, I'm Pharmacy Technician speaking. Hi, yes. Who is this? Hello? What, what did you say? Oh, hey, this is Ronnie from the lobby department. Who's this? It said there was a call for the pharmacy on 501. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Ronnie from the lobby department. Oh. Oh, hey, what's up? Listen. Um, Renee and Drew were just over here. Um, and you know that new courtesy clerk, Neil? No. Okay. Anyway, the three of them said that you were going into the, ca- into one of the cabinets back there in between customers and taking swigs or something. And Drew was saying that he, he, um, smelled like, um, codeine cough syrup on your breath. Okay. Say that again? There was somebody going through cough syrup back here? Renee from the uh, courtesy booth. Was okay, from the lottery. Yeah. Or from the behind the counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Drew, okay. and, then Drew and, and the butcher block. You know him? Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then that one new courtesy clerk, Neil. Okay, I haven't met him, so I don't know who he is, but I know the other two. Okay, all right. Well, anyway... Um, I don't think anyone else from the front end was there. I think it was just Neil. He's new. They were all they were all here saying that the pharmacy is going to get shut down. Um, that they said that you were um, drinking something. You in between customers, you would go back. Um, I guess to like a cabinet or something there, and you they could see you taking swigs. And then Drew was like, "It's probably codeine cough syrup." And then Renee was like, "Yeah, it totally smelled like cough syrup when." When I saw her earlier, she said. And they said, who was it? Renee, and, uh, Renee up front and Drew from the butcher block. And then that new courtesy clerk, Neil. I think he's Indian or something. Who did they say was taking it? You. 
me. Yeah, that's what I'm. T- I mean, I'm in. I'm Ronnie. I work here. I'm in the, um, the lobby department. And what I, did what was the name they used? They said the ladies. They said that the person who's in the pharmacy right now is what they said. But there's four or five of us. I what, know. Two, four. There's six of us in the pharmacy right now. Maybe it was you. Okay. I don't know. I'm just I'm just calling to give you. A, huh? I'm just calling to give, give you a heads up. Like if if it was you or one of the other ones, you might want to like dump it or something real quick before they. You know, I don't know. They seem pissed off. Renee, especially, okay. was like Renee was like, "I'm going to." She was saying like "f u c" like that. You know, the whole word. She was saying it out, not spelling it. Uh, the pharmacy, f u c, um, the grocery department. She said. Okay, well, do you want to talk to the pharmacist manager? Yeah, okay. Here? Who's that? Okay. Yeah. Um, his name is Judd, and so I'll put you on hold for him because he's helping a customer right all now. All right, but... okay, all right, bye. Okay, I'll all put right. you on hold really quick. Okay, bye. Thanks for holding, this is Judd. How can I help you? Hey, Judd, this is Ronnie from the lobby department. What's up, man? From the what department? Lobby department. Oh, okay. Hey, um, you know Drew back in the butcher block? What's that? You know Drew back in the butcher block? No. Okay, he's one of the guys at the butcher block. Anyway, do you know Renee, though, right, at the front? No. You don't know who Renee from the front booth is? No. How long have you been working here, dude? Uh, 13 months. And you don't know who Renee is? No. I never grabbed the tills or anything. You don't grab any tills? And what? how do you get your paycheck then? Uh, that's been direct deposit for the last 11.5 years. Oh, God. Same account and everything. I and anyway, so there, you, there's a girl named Renee who is at the front booth all the time. Anyway, okay. so her and Drew from the back of the store from the butcher block were talking a lot of trash about you. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And who was it that I was just talking to now? Marissa, maybe? Yeah, Marissa. She was just telling me now that she thinks you're drinking codeine cough syrup in the back. Is that oh. for real? Those those sound like something that should probably be referred to April or April's boss, Darcy. Well, if, she just told me that. I was calling to see if this is true about the argument that Drew and Renee had in front of the pharmacy. The what? And Drew and Renee had a big fight in front of the pharmacy. Oh, yeah. okay. There, I, I guess Drew was off, off the clock, but he still had his... Um, stuff with him <clears throat> from the butcher block, and he was shopping. And a customer asked him a question, and he said, "I'm I'm not on the clock right now. I'm sorry." And Renee came by and's like, oh, "You can't say that to the customers." And he's like, "Well, I'm off the effing clock. You didn't hear that a fight? Everyone's been talking about it all day." Huh? Yeah, this happened earlier today. You didn't hear about it? Mm-mm. Yeah. Anyway, so. Yeah, so apparently, <clears throat> what's her face right now? She was just ta- she was saying all this stuff about you. Uh, oh, Ju- okay. uh, Judd, I think Judd's um, sipping on the codeine cough syrup in the back. He keeps ducking out, ducking back back there, and taking swigs and coming back. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I mean, like I said, I say April and Darcy should be informed if she really thinks that. They yeah, can can, can pull, you get pull all the tape they want? Can you get um, April then on the line? Can you page her for me? What's that? Can you page them? No, I'm not going to call them on myself. That'll look weird. Have someone else call if they think that there's uh, malfeasance going on back here. Well, put one put that one girl back on, and I'll figure it out from there. Okay. All, all right. right. Thanks. Hello. Yeah, can you page April for me, please? I need to talk to her. It's Ronnie from the um, lobby department. Um, I April's in a whole different building, isn't she? She's in like the district office building, or is she on? Well, can you put the store director on? 
Can I put you on hold for a second? Okay, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> she just hung up. Fucking bitch. Hey, uh, this is uh, Judd from the pharmacy. Uh, who is it that you like to talk to? I'm trying to get a hold of Renee. Renee? Yeah, she's apparently she talking. She just got off work a little while ago. Well, she's talking trash about me and the guy and the girls here at the pharmacy. She's she's what? She was talking trash about me and the girls here in the pharmacy right now. <laughs> Drew from the butcher block was just back here. I have no idea. Do you know Drew from the butcher block? What? Do you know Drew in the butcher block? Yeah. Okay. He just was over here and told me all about the problem with, I guess, between me and Renee, that we had a big fight. I don't know. I don't... I all don't right, listen, can you that. can you trust me to the deli? Can you get someone in deli, please? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if everything's going to be all right... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure, it's fine. I just needed to put an order. Sure, all right, we'll take it. Hurry up. Who's oh, Kelly? May I help you? Yeah, hey, it's Ronnie from the lobby department. What's up? Hi, what hey. can we do for you? Who's this? This is Teresa in the service deli. Oh, Teresa, listen, you do, you know Drew from the Butcher Block? Ye- yes. Oh, my God. He was just over here. He was bragging that he's been drinking today, that he's drunk off his ASS, he said, that he didn't give an SHIT. And then he said, you know Judd from the pharmacy? He's been here for about a year now. Then who was? You know Judd from the, the pharmacy? The- Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, listen. Apparently, they're saying that uh, they like to take, like, the codeine cost syrup from back there in the pharmacy together. They, like, take... So, I think maybe you should speak with with the manager about this. The store manager. No, uh, I just want to let you know. And then, you know, Renee? Well, letting me know is not going to do you any good. I just work in the deli, and this sounds like something you would want to speak with the store manager about. No, but apparently Renee was talking about you is why I'm trying to let you know. He was talking about me, Renee me personally. Was, Renee was talking about you, yeah. She said okay, that... Okay, who and who are you again? She said that you couldn't get your paycheck because you bounced the check, she said. Who are you again? I'm Ronnie from the lobby department. Do I know you? Well, I've been working here for a few years now. I'd hope so. I know just about everybody here. Okay, well, how about this? I will go ahead and I will speak with, with my store director about this. Okay, yeah, totally. You should because Renee is just giving out all your information. She's like, she bounced a check once and they found out and they're going to not, they're going to hold her paycheck until she resolves it, they said. That they were going to get a lien. There was going to be a lien placed on your, on your check or something, your paycheck, they were saying. Okay, thank you. I'll go take care of this right yeah, now. Yeah, seriously, go. Yeah. Thank you for calling me. I think you're home for love. This is Rachel. How may I help you? Hey, it's Ronnie from here in the uh, the lobby department. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, you know Renee and you, well, do you know Teresa from the um, from the deli? Uh huh. She apparently was just over here saying some really nasty stuff about you guys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, so I guess Renee and Drew were they got caught in the freezer back in the butcher blog, and they said something about anal release or something like that. Are you trying to reach Albertsons? No. Well, I work here at Albertsons. I'm in the I'm in the lobby department. Who's this? This is Rachel at U.S. Bank. Yeah. Yeah. You're here at the store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I work at the lobby department here. I'm okay. Ro- I'm Ronnie. Listen, all right. So, but you know, like Drew and Renee, Drew works uh-uh. in, in meat. You know the uh, the butcher block. 
So, and you know Renee that gives out the paychecks and all that from the front office, the front booth? Um, I'm not sure. Um, are you trying to reach the one on Eustick and Five Miles? Yeah. For U.S. Bank? U.S., yeah, you're in the store. Yes. Let yeah. me put you on hold. I'm, I currently am dealing with customers. Oh, what are they, are they you got a lot of deposits today. It's payday, right? Huh? Payday today, right? You guys are pretty busy. We're slammed yeah. up here. Yeah, we're slammed yeah. up here, too. Yeah. All right, um, I'll be here. Hurry up. Okay. All right, bye. Thank you. How much would you leave? Yeah, hey. Hello? Hello? Yeah, it's Ronnie. It's Ronnie. What happened? I don't know. Were you speaking with somebody else? This is the first time I'm speaking with you. Yeah, Rachel? Oh, no, this is Tamika. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, you're the black girl, right? Would you like to hold and speak with Rachel? I'll talk to you, though. I don't mind. Get, okay, get a little bit customer. of. I don't mind getting a little bit of brown sugar in my coffee, if you know what I mean. You there? Yeah. <laughs> Introduce a little anarchy. Upset the established order, and everything becomes chaos. I'm an agent of chaos. 